perhaps the most important thing is, is to begin to redefine the relationship, to reframe the problem, so to speak. That this is a disease that is forcing these issues. It's not the person forcing these dilemmas on the caregiver. It means taking into account that disease is really driving what's going on here in the home. And, and the caregiver then must recognize the need to adjust to what's going on. Instead of expecting that life can be the same again, that we can have this sense of normalcy or the kind of reality in which we, we once lived. Uh, this requires, however, just a tremendous revolution in thinking. And um, again, it, it has got to do with the issue of denial, that this disease is, is uh, up front and center in the life of this, uh, this couple or the, of this family. And to have everybody understanding that the disease is, is really uh, prominent in the relationship now. So I think it, it begins first and foremost uh, in the mind of the individual who's providing the care. With Alzheimer's disease, it's, it's a come and go kind of disease in, in the sense that symptoms fluctuate from day to day, from hour to hour. It's again, not an all or nothing kind of thing. Uh, I use the analogy of a dimmer switch in the sense that the disease can lower one's capabilities temporarily and then within an hour, maybe the next day, the person is showing capabilities that they didn't show previously. And it requires a tremendous amount of flexibility, patience, and understanding on the part of others to recognize these normal kinds of fluctuations that accompany the disease. Think of a chemical glue that enables new information to stick in our brains. And with Alzheimer's disease, that glue is not sticking. The recent thoughts, the recent events are not sticking. Whereas information from the distant past, it's stuck. It can be recalled. The glue is sticking in the past. But in the recent past, for whatever reasons we still don't clearly understand, the glue is not sticking properly. And yet at times it does stick. So some parts of events, some parts of conversations may be recalled. On the other hand, maybe the entire conversation, the, the entire event may be forgotten altogether. And this is part of the strange come and go nature of Alzheimer's disease, especially in the early stages. The caregiver may feel angry and has every right to be angry, but to express that anger to the person with Alzheimer's disease, really, if you think about it, is counterproductive. The person with Alzheimer's disease is already feeling bad enough about being dependent, and it just enhances that feeling, reinforces it. It's misdirected anger when it's focused just on the person with the disease, because the person really is in a vulnerable position in the first place and really can't defend himself. And after all, what we're talking about here is the disease itself is responsible. I think it's necessary for the, the caregiver to move into a, a leadership role. And I'm not referring to uh, a sense of domination or being all powerful over that person with Alzheimer's disease, but, but leading this person in a real healthy sense, that this person has a disability and to create, in a sense, a prosthetic environment for that person so he or she can succeed. I think many people have unrealistic expectations about how quickly they should adapt to this role. Um, so it's very important that caregivers become patient with themselves and allow others to help them adapt to this changing role because it is all pervasive. It, it just takes a, a huge effort on the part of many people to share in this kind of responsibility. It's not a job one can do alone.